Hello, this is Kelsey Freak Perkins with Registry Partners. Thank you for joining us for the December 2022 CTR coding break. This month's topic is Can you determine the priority order? Some of the fields we assign have a priority order to use when there's conflicting information, and it can be challenging to know where to look for help. The objectives of today are identify some of the fields that contain a priority order and know where to look when you have conflicting information. We will go over three case examples that have conflicting information to see if we can determine the correct answer by using the priority order. The first case example is for primary site of the colon. A 67-year-old male presents to the facility for a low anterior resection of invasive adenocarcinoma of the colon that was diagnosed by a screening colonoscopy. The surgeon states in the operative report findings that there is a mass visualized in the rectosigmoid colon with distal tattoo showing. The mass with the attached proximal and distal colon was resected. No obvious metastatic disease was seen. The PATH report states invasive moderately differentiated adenocarcinoma of the sigmoid colon. Can you determine the primary site using the correct priority order? A, the rectosigmoid colon per the op report or B, the sigmoid colon per the PATH report? The answer is A, the rectosigmoid colon per the op report. In the SEER 2022 manual, Appendix C, site-specific coding manuals, under the colon section, there is a document for colon coding guidelines, which contains the priority order for coding primary site. This is shown on the right. When there is conflicting information, the first priority goes to the operative report with a surgeon's description followed by the PATH report and imaging for resected cases. In cases where there is a polypectomy or excision only without a resection, the first priority goes to the endoscopy, most commonly a colonoscopy report. Let's move on to our next field shown in case example two, surgery codes. A 59-year-old female presents to the facility for definitive resection of a right breast mass in the upper outer quadrant. The prior biopsy was positive for invasive ductal carcinoma and there was no evidence of enlarged lymph nodes on workup. The operative procedure is listed as a right partial mastectomy with sentinel lymph node biopsy. Review of the entire operative report shows the procedure was completed as planned. The PATH report states right breast lumpectomy positive for invasive ductal carcinoma with one negative sentinel lymph node. Can you determine the surgery code using the correct priority order? A, 22 for a lumpectomy per the PATH report, or B, 20 for a partial mastectomy per the operative report? The answer is B, 20, for the partial mastectomy per the op report. The priority order for surgery codes is located in the 2022 SEER Program and Staging Manual under Surgery of the Primary Site. It states the operative report takes priority over the PATH report. This manual instructs us to use the entire operative report in order to assign the best surgery code. This will contain the plan procedure as well as any changes or modifications that may have occurred. The PATH report may be used to supplement, but the operative report takes priority. Next is case example three, tumor-sized clinical. Here's an overview of the case. A 77-year-old female presented to the facility for a CT lung screening that showed a nodule. A workup PET CT revealed a nodule that is suspicious for malignancy. Biopsy was positive for adenocarcinoma. 1-12-2022 CT chest lung screening showed a solid nodule in the right lower lobe lung 22 millimeters. 2 1 2022 PET CT shows a nodular opacity in the right lower lobe, 2.4 centimeters, moderately hypermetabolic, suspicious for malignancy. No regional nodal or distant metastatic disease is present. 2 22 2022 CT guided right lung biopsy report shows a right lower lobe lung, 3.1 centimeter nodule. Can you determine the clinical tumor size using the priority order? A, 
022 per the first screening CT, B024 per the PET, or C031 per the CT guided right lower lobe biopsy report? The answer is C, 031 per the CT guided right lower lobe biopsy report. The priority order for clinical tumor size is located in the 2022 SEER program and staging manual under the tumor size clinical section, which can be seen on the right. First priority goes to the operative report from an exploratory procedure without a resection. Second priority goes to the image guided tissue biopsy, which is an incisional biopsy done under the guidance of CT, ultrasound, or MRI, for example. Please note that when coding the tumor size, the size should come from the imaging report and not the path report. CTR should refrain from coding the size from a core biopsy or needle biopsy unless the size corresponds to the tumor and not the size of the specimen. There is a prostate example listed in letter B. Pathologist states core one, tumor involves eight millimeters of core. Core two, tumor involves three millimeters of core. The sizes reported, eight millimeters and three millimeters, do not represent the size of the prostate tumor. Look for a tumor size on imaging or elsewhere. The third priority is the largest tumor size from diagnostic imaging. The type of imaging does not have a priority order unless stated otherwise by a physician. Lastly, the tumor size from a physical exam when the above are not available. Of note, this does include the tumor size from endoscopy procedure. In this example, we had many different tumor sizes and it could be difficult to determine which is the most accurate. By using this priority order, we can determine that 031 from the CT guided lung biopsy is the correct answer because it takes higher priority than diagnostic imaging and a surgical expiration was not performed. I hope this review of priority order and the case examples we discussed was helpful to you. Thank you for joining.